to a brand new live stream. Today I am going to be basically just playing Planets vs. Zombies while just talking about my opinions on transphobes and some other arguments that they make, which are pretty poor to say the least. So, let us begin. So, the basic premise of, um, I'm gonna just wait for this, because this is just, like, taking forever. Welcome! Thank you for watching! So, one thing that a lot of transphobes seem to not really understand is that they they make the argument that um being trans is a mental illness and this is pretty false um being trans is a um treatment transitioning is a treatment not the mental illness saying that is like saying someone has ritalin no the person taking ritalin has adhd they they don't have um uh, yeah, because that Ritalin's a medication. So, these people want to regulate how others get their medical treatments. So, it's pretty insane overall that this would be a fundamental argument to say, hey, by the way, this is a mental illness, when it really isn't. And fundamentally it just roots down to them wanting control over other people they want control to say hey um i want this done and i don't give a damn if what you want is to transition because overall there is no harm in someone transitioning there is no harm done to other people in general and so this idea of, well, I want to limit your freedom is kind of insane. Because in general, um, just put out there, I'm from the United States. And so most of the time I just hear about how, well, we're the land of the free. We have freedoms. But many of these people want to limit, sorry, many of these people want to limit our freedoms to say, hey, this is what I want. There we go. Which is pretty ludicrous. Like, I have the freedom to choose whatever medical procedure I want so long as it's within bounds of reason. If the medical procedure, like, makes it so I'm permanently disabled and incapable of functioning society, then, yeah, that would be a really sh dumb thing to do. And doctors have rights to say, no, I won't do this. But if a doctor thinks that it's an appropriate treatment for a certain cause, then it should be really allowed between the doctor and the patient. Overall, that's just something. And it's always viewed from the point of, well, I'm not against transitioning, I'm just against children transitioning. Which to me just seems a bit interesting, to say the least. Because it's always viewed through the lens of children. Because if you try to make the argument that adults shouldn't do it, then you run into a major problem where it, they, where you can argue, well, they're adults. They have the right to do what they want to their bodies. And by limiting what they can do, you're fundamentally taking away that freedom. Which I find to be disingenuous overall Ooh. that is awesome wait okay sorry about that Woo. and there's just this idea that well, trans people shouldn't be able to, and it's a combination of factors, really. 
part of it is that um, it's infantilization saying, hey, I know what's best for you. Even though you live in the, um, the body that you live in right now, I know what's best for you in general and what I think is you should follow this very strict form of morality. Which is pretty insane. Like, I thought that we lived in a situation where we were supposed to be free. Many of these people will complain about how they don't have freedom, yet they want to take freedom from others. And that's pretty just awful. Because it's already pretty difficult to transition, and they want to make it more difficult. And it's more of a... I know what's best. And it's just so funny to hear people, um, another argument they just really love to cling on to is, well, these people are going to be making a mistake, and it's like, I thought we had the freedom to do that. I thought I had the freedom to make a mistake. If this is a mistake, then it is, it should be my freedom to choose to make a mistake. Because I should be able to have the ability to say, oops, I made a mistake. Because everybody does at some point. And most people, they don't usually get surgeries and, um, and say, oh, well, this was such an impulsive decision. Because I had to go through several doctors in order to get, um, approved for anything. And most doctors will still, like, even for basic medical procedures, will still go through the pros, cons, everything like that, even if it's necessary. Even necessary surgeries can be a, um, being told, look, you do not know what is really important, and we do not think you would be able to handle the aftercare that is necessary for what just happened. Which is very important overall. If they don't think you can take care of yourself after surgery, they don't give it to you. And they just don't. Hmm. Besides, it's more about control, like I said. They want to control people. They want to have their, a, um, they want their cake and eat it too kind of thing. And, and, and no, I'm not, I'm not clever enough. I, 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 I kind of chose this game because I really like it and I'm really good at it. So I can talk and not think about this. But now that I think about it, it's more of a, this feels like an insult to everybody. This is what transphobes are. Ooh. I'm so familiar with this game. Next level. And I know, like, J.K. Rowling had, like, a shit ton to say after, like, um, when she, like, when she made her own manifesto, which was rather insane. I didn't read the full thing, but she, um, she implied that the disabled girls are becoming more trans because they're being tricked into believing they're trans, which is kind of patronizing to say, well, I know that, um, I know that most kids who are, most people who are autistic don't know that they are trans and they are being confused just pretty insulting like imagine being any other person and being told hey by the way i know that you have a brain but because there's something with you that's slightly off i don't believe you have the right to a um i don't think you have the right to make that decision about your life and as someone um, who's autistic, I find that extremely insulting, because it's like, I know what I want in life, I know where my brain is, and to be told that I'm not mentally capable of making this kind of decision is ludicrous. It's like putting off this idea of, well, you, you're too disabled, you're too mentally incapable, and we need to shelter you from any decision you make, whether it be right or wrong.
Funny enough, in this game, the middle levels are usually the easiest. Or at least the levels after this one. The earliest levels are usually the hardest for me. Because you get a shovel later. And right now I don't. And of course I forgot that one. Oh, God. Ooh. I'm also playing this, like, on minimum screen because I want to see chat, too. I I'm definitely reading chat. So. <sighs> JK Rowling. Good God. That's, that's a, a whole can of worms in of itself. It's funny, too, how many of these people seem to be falling for the whole um, argument that men are inherently dangerous. Like, I thought the M um, the men's rights activists would really get on um, anybody who would just dare suggest that men are inherently dangerous and we need to keep them segregated from the rest of society. That, that to me is just pretty, pretty hilarious. Because it's like, isn't that sexist against men? To say, hey, we can't have um, people who are technically men be in the women's restroom because they'll automatically just go and assault someone. They can't control themselves. And I feel like that's very insulting. And someone did make a good point, you know, there's very few talk about um, trans, um, for like, people who are original, um, or cisgender, claiming to be trans is ludicrous, but they never bring up trans men. Women who transitioned into being men. Because that's just really underrepresented. Underrepresented. That... I'm not good with that word. Anyway. Because it's more of, oh, these people don't know what they're doing. These two people don't know. There's, like, so many things about that that's just so messed up. Am I loud enough? Or, um, am I too soft? If anybody thinks I'm too soft, let me know. You can always edit the, um, volume. So, let's see here. No. JK Rowling is speaking from a terms of she's hurt. She's hurt. Something happened and she just is overprotective but at the same time it's a situation where this is paranoia. It's not healthy to basically want to discriminate against someone and say no I don't want you to have rights because Something happened in my past, and I just don't want to take an iota of a chance that it might happen again. And it's one thing to say, hey, look, we have an issue where if a trans person commits a crime, they're pretty much let off scot-free. That would be one argument. And that would make a lot of sense to be upset, saying, hey, I'm not saying that trans people are bad, but we just have a giant situation where trans people are allowed to get away with a crime. But there's really no evidence that trans people just disproportionately get away with crime. Like, they do not have to be held up to any standard because reasons. There we go. This looks like the hardest. But it is fun. What's well, the hardest in the early game? So there's that. I'm gonna continue on until I get to like level nine. I don't wanna end this on like midway. And probably resume like my chat tomorrow about like other stuff. But still. This 
problem. I I'm really good at condensing down my thoughts, so... I can really get out, like, what I want to say pretty quickly. Overall. And, and to be fair, there's not a lot of arguments transphobes really have. Because all of it is subjective. They don't have an argument based off of subjective fact. Because it's mostly about, okay, so you don't want to support trans people, you don't want to use their pronouns, but why are you so against them being able to transition at all? Like, what is the major problem with saying, hey, I might not agree with it, but overall, this is another person's body, I'm not going to get involved. And we know mo most of these people are um, ironically against masks and things like that. Which is, it's like, hey, this is, um, they have the rights to do what they want, but others don't. Detail levels are so easy. It's like the easiest achievement to get. Just use one of these. I think the hardest achievement is a, um, uh, I think it's don't pee in the pool where you can't use a, um, there are some challenges you can do, but, um, don't pee in the pool is one of them. Especially if you're doing it without, like, all of the advantages of the later part of the game. Because you get a pool level... And you're not supposed to use, um, pea shooters. <laughs> so. There really isn't much to say. I'm just gonna finish this level and probably leave. Thanks for watching! And listening to me ramble for, like, God knows how long. Um, I really appreciate it. Because, yeah, I'm just quick. God, I hate these people. Those are so annoying. That's so easy to deal with. So, yeah, any questions? For technically, a yeah, private chat. Let's see if I. Because sometimes my, um,. Sometimes my Twitch app doesn't um, automatically update. Chat. Oh, come on. This is an easy game. I'm just distracted. And very forgetful. Now, oh, well. long it takes. I gotta think, the only time I really, um, I've played Plants vs. Zombies without using this one, um, without using Cheat Engine to get the, um, the plants to spawn immediately. Yay. These are difficult. I'll try to think of something better tomorrow. No, I, I work come back on Wednesday. Thursday. Tomorrow's Wednesday. Because, of course, I don't know the days of the week. I don't know much. 
what is it? There's like a Greek philosopher said that the only thing I know is I know. The only thing I know is I do not know anything. Which can be translated to the only thing I know is I know nothing. Which really works. Alright. And before I continue, I will just exit out. Kidding me? Alright, oh, right, because hey, um, it's too early. Well, thank you for watching. It was a pleasure talking to you all. Um, I will be posting this on my YouTube channel known as Lev Goodwin. And I do have a Patreon, so if you want to watch the this on YouTube um, early, subscribe to pa my Patreon under Lev Goodwin. And thank you for watching, and have a wonderful day.